My skin is black. My body is burned. I survived Babylon. I am a daughter of Zion. Shalom, Israel. This is Sister Kana. And first and foremost, I want to give all glory and praise to Ahaya Ashur Ahaya Bahashim Ishaya. Wak Wadash Wak. Okay, guys, I'm here and I have my um, my in your closet prayer rugs with the matching Bible cover, and I want to introduce the my journey journals. Okay, my journey journals, and this will be added with the um, prayer rug and the Bible covers. As you can see, it all match. And I just wanted to add something a little extra to the gift set. You know, you know, most of our holy days are gift giving um, holy days that we celebrate and we, um, you know, we give glory and praise to Ahaya Ashur Ahaya Bahashim Ishaya. But we also have to give gifts and, you know, celebrate one another and things like that. So I wanted to add this to the gift. It's a journal. And guys, I got the idea because there's like so many women on YouTube who are making these junk journals. They, you know, and they, they're awesome, right? So I wanted to, uh, you know, add that in because I think as I journey, people who are making their journey out of Babylon and just waking up to the truth, there's a lot of, um, memory, you know, memories that you want to, um, hold on to. I know I did. And I have, you know, like my family pictures and, you know, all this good stuff that I want, I've gone through and, you know, I, I tried to save it. But we know as the time come, but the, there may not be any more Internet. And we what will you do, you know, when the lights go out or whatever and you don't you don't have access to any of these pictures or videos and things like that. So I thought it was a good idea to start. A junk journal, but I don't want to say junk because I it's not junk, praise the higher. And it's uh it's a Hebrew journey journal. Your Hebrew journey journal or and I put my journey and I, I put Ahaya Bahashim Yeshaya Wa um Wa Kwadash Wawak. Okay, so it's Ahaya Bahashem Yeshaya Wa Kwadash Wawak. And of course, you know that's the beginning. And the ending of all things. So, I just want to, I'm going to flip through it really quickly because I don't have a lot of time. You can add this into your gift set with the rugs. And they have different colors. Like you can see there's the brown one here. And uh, this is the the Bible cover that goes with it. And this is the um, closet, in your, prayer, in your closet prayer rug. Okay. So, I'm just going to do a quick flip, you know, just to show you what some of the things. Because I, I got, um, there's a lot of ladies who are selling a lot of, um, you know, kits, they call them kits, and they have nice pictures and things like that. And hold on one second, let me see, hold on. Okay, so first I want to show you that, um, yeah, you can buy kits off the internet. And I got these kits because I thought they were so awesome. But you can write notes, and um, they give you like the Renaissance periods with um, black people as kings and queens. And it's, um, her YouTube page is elegant creations and I love the things that she create but you know you know so and there's a few other that I others that I buy from like I bought some tags from Clemmy's creation as well but I mainly use elegant creations throughout the books and you know pictures that I downloaded and you know things like that so I just want to show you that because I think uh, it's an awesome page that she has and um you know she has like a lot of things like this that you can um download and it's you know relatively you know good price but i think she made these pages herself very talented sister and also you know i like the way clemmy creation does her books as well to get a lot of nice ideas but anyway so, and I will try to put their links or at least the name of their channels in the description box because there's a few YouTube pages that I looked at. So I just want to get that out the way. 
to go and check out, you know, the other ones. But basically, so this is my journey, and it's going to be a journal. And it's quite big. I mean, it's very big. And I'm not finished, guys, but I just want you to get the idea. You can get it and add it on to your um, prayer rug and Bible set. But I think it's something that we all can utilize as we're waking up to the truth. And you want to document and just keep things. So this is my personal book, but... I will. I just want to give you an idea of what you will get, and it's quite big, and it's a lot of pages. So, you know, so this is my. You know, I put my memoirs and you know Shonda Simmons, but on the flap you'll get, um, you know, get Psalms eighty three, and you can, um, you know, read that daily. Go into your book, and then you can make notes on the back. So it's like it gives you like this antique feel. So the page, the pages are. Coffee dyed and tie dyed, tea dyed, I'm sorry, with tea, so it could give this authentic, um, ancient look. And that's the concept with most junk journals. But, you know, for, you know, it just depends on, you know, what you want. Okay, so here, you know, I got a, a, a made an envelope and I put a Haya Bahashim Shaya on it. And also, you know, it has an inside flat, a lot of hidden. Things. I put the Lord's Prayer on there in Hebrew so that you can practice your Hebrew. And it gives you, you know, you flip it up and you get these um, pages from the kit from Elegant um, Creation. Tie dye paper. And then you can pull this out and, uh, you know, make write notes and write things. So just keep in mind this book has a lot of things to write notes. And then on the flip side, I put this, be this um, book belongs to Kana Nahara Yeshurala blessings so you know and you for anyone who purchased it they will have their own you know their name and it will be um you know made for them so i'll just flip through really fast so that you can see okay and um you know i did some tie dye music paper hold on it's quite big and it's not really i haven't sewn everything in just because I'm still like adjusting, but I just want to get you guys to see. So this is Jerusalem, some um, coffee dye, music paper, and I got Judah here, and I have to fix that. Yeah, Judah. I have to fix that, Judah. And then um, you flip this little tag up, and you have some paper that you can make notes on. Okay? Okay, so I'm going to go through it really fast. I put some... Um, Hold on, I put um, some uh, Bible tags, and then you can jot on the back side. You can make notes and things like that. And um, also have a Be Holy tag that you'll see throughout the, uh, and you can write notes. And I'll probably put some tie-dye paper on the back of this as well. Okay, so here are some more uh, sheets, but I just wanted to kind of show you the type of sheets they were from her kit and it's awesome and I put uh, black men are kings not niggers in the you know also here I have I am that I am and it's a tag and it has some you know coffee dot paper that you can write a lot of notes and also put some scriptures also with the fringes and, you know I made a fringes um, you know, so that you can use it to tuck a fringes tuck, which I thought was cool. Okay, okay, so I'm gonna try to go through it. Here's another envelope. I put some, you know, things, some scriptures on it with some music paper. Another one of her from her kit, Elegant Creation. Uh, up here, I put some scripture. You know, inside, you know, there's a lot of little places that you can get. I put a shepherd man. And um, also some tie-dye paper, but you can make notes, and you can staple pictures. You can make notes here, um, here. You got put I in Hebrew. You know, got some things, and where well, you can write notes on the back of that. Made a little window. Okay. Now, basically, I'm just going. I don't, cause I don't have a lot of time. So the first month, now I, I, I put my calendars in there, and I put blank calendars. So that you can write in the your, the year and you can write in marking the day yourself. So it'll be blank. But I put um, Pasak for Passover here. And any memoranda you have from Passover, you can 
print out your pictures and put them inside. I think this is a great gift to give people so that they can, you know, you know, I tried to put some lace and I'll put more lace throughout the book. Okay. And here another page for Passover. And I put the, you know, picture of the Lord's prayer, the Lord's, um, I'm sorry, the Passover dinner. And also made a little booklet out of it so that you can, um, you know, put your memorabilia if you want to staple some pictures or glue some pictures that you did at your Passover, you know, in another Passover picture. Okay, I did the Ten Commandments here. And also, you know, a Ten Commandments. Also, inside I have some uh, Moses, Go Down Moses sheet music, you know, which I thought was really cool that I found it. But it's just for, like, the background. And I put the Ten Commandments. Also, I'm going to put the Ten Commandments in Hebrew here as well. So people can study that, you know. And here's another Ten Commandments. You know, I just thought these were real cute. And you can make notes. And I will, you know, put coffee dye on that as well. Okay, here is some more kit paper. And then I found this um, cool picture I am and it's a female but it's um just the different things you know for women to write down and it's a little booklet so it has some pages that you can um see okay then I put some sheet music song of Moses because this is all for the month of Passover I put a uh, Judah lion and Shabbat Shalom family with some empty pages and then I put a section for fasting so, you know, everybody, you know, they do their fasting or whatever. So I put a lot of pages so you can make notes on, you know, things you want to pray about, things you want to fast, make notes, um, you know, things that you want to post for yourself, prayers and things like that, scriptures that you want to go through. Uh, here's another booklet with some note paper and a lot of um, different pages that you can write and record things that you want to remember uh here's another slot and i got this um a sister reading the bible but you could do your memories anything you want to write down and i made this little pocket i think that i got this idea from clemmy's creation and i will and these are different tags but i will put pictures on these so right now they're kind of empty but i just want you to get the idea of what it would be so you can and also this whole thing um pulls out and you can just make notes on the whole thing here so you know a lot of room to journal and that's the whole point because you know we're going through a time and we these are things you're going to want to remember so here is a a pocket and it just has some you know pictures from ancient um, sisters you know things like that and some scriptures here that you, you know you might want to meditate on or you want to write about so I just put these pockets so that you know you can now this thing opens up and it, it'll have pages inside but I just put the pen here but it definitely opens up and inside it got some scriptures okay and you can um, you know journal on the inside and I think I'll add some more pages to this but right now you could just journal on either side okay I'm sorry guys I only have I don't have my my um, stand that I can hold the camera so I gotta hold everything with my hand okay okay here's another page with scripture and hold on, let me get this together hold on one second Okay, so this is just a little door, a little window. It's the tribe of Judah. And on the inside, it has um, scriptures that you can read and meditate on. And on the back, it has pages that you can journal on and make notes. Coffee dye. So, again, I like to write and I like to, you know, keep the things that I'm thinking about meditate. Sometimes I like to write songs, you know, music, things to remember. Okay, here's the next uh, month. It's April. I will be adding these in, and I will usually sew it. Sew it in. I'll first, um, I'll first glue it down, but then I will sew it with the sewing machine. And the same thing with the, you know, the next month, the second month of Shania, 
and you can use it to write and also there'll be some journal paper so you can make notes on things that you have to do or things you you know want to remember I just think this is awesome and then here's another one um, um, the Holy Bible which will have pages that you can um, journal on as well so you can the Holy Bible and uh, you can journal on the back and then journal a few pages that you can journal on scriptures things you want to remember you know okay so that's one part hold on let me uh, get it together hold on okay so here's the other part here's another one that um, has some scriptures it has a little um, clear window and you can put some things in let me just show you like this if you want to slide it through I only have one hand but you can use a pocket there this is upside down, but I just want to show you really quick. And um, just so that you know, so these are some tags. They're called tags that I made. And I will be inserting these in the journey, you know, praise the higher with the um, the tablet that, you know, Moses received the law. And also um, just something like this, like be kind. And it has some... Um, music paper for Psalms 119a here's another one just for like love and you know stamp and this is a, also a little tuck that you can put something in there you know things you want to remember so I'm gonna I'm gonna add these within the within the journal but I just don't know where I'm gonna put it yet okay so yeah so back to this so I'm gonna go through quickly just so you can see some Okay, I just want to stop for a second and um, just say that my journey signifies um, our obedience to coming back to a higher Asher, a higher Bahashem Yeshaya. You know, because um, the Most High told us to come out of her, my people, and we are to make our way within the borders. So this, you know, the whole my journey is just about us being obedient, coming out of Babylon, and just documenting our progress and our growth as we come back under the Lord's statutes and commandments. So I told you that, you know, that, that um, they're kind of watching my channel, not kind of, but they're watching my channel. They try to counter everything that I do. So they'll speak. They know what I'm going to do. They know what videos I'm going to make out, make because they're hacking into my accounts. So they'll try to like say things to, you know, demean, you know, things that I'm trying to do or, you know, putting out. So my journey is something positive, brothers and sisters. It's about you connecting back to a higher and learning the laws, progress and documenting your progress. You know, things about fasting and praying. There's a lot of, you know, that, you know, um, pages that you can document, you know, fasting and prayer. How about cleansing your temple, losing weight? Um, you know, if you like to sew or if you like art or spoken word or anything that relates with you, um, you know, getting back to the most high and the things that you are doing, starting a business where you're selling things, you know, so it's nothing negative. Your journey is your journey and no one can take that from you. So this journal is for you to document your progress. So I give all glory and praise to Ahaya, Asha Ahaya, Bahasha Yeshaya. And I'm I'm so excited about it because it helps me. I'm able to write, keep focus, you know, document, write scriptures, you know, learn the Hebrew, um, keep track of the holy days, the calendar. Um, aspect is very important so that you can write the holy days down, you know, things you're going to make, recipes, all kind of things. So I praise and, and I give glory to a higher for the ideas, you know, for the gifts that he's given, you know, me, you know, through the Holy Spirit. And um, I pray that you enjoy it. And I pray you can use this and send someone a great gift. You know, sisters really loved it, you know, keeping us in prayer, you know, for your um, prayer closet. You have, um, you know, a book, a Bible covers, and things like that. So I just wanted to insert that in. Okay, I'll keep going. Okay, this is some more um, journal paper, the kit. And uh, the month of May, again, you can journal on the back. 
and um, here's like some my some memory, you know, I got some family pictures, and uh, when I went to Masada, okay, with my sister, and you know, put some journaling on the back, these are the pictures that I have from Masada, um, you know, so, and I'm still working on this, but just to give you guys an idea, like what you can do, and if you if you make the order and you want me just like to put the whole thing together for you, you can just send me pictures and I'll print them out and you know, and like how you see I sewed around the sides, you know, and uh, I put the paper on the back so you can journal, and this is the Bible tag. Also here, another Bible tag, and just some old pictures from back in the day in a postcard, and you can journal on the back, okay? And uh, here's a journal, uh, the kit paper, and I'll be adding some more, the month of June, okay? And it's also a lot of paper, coffee dye, so just to make it look old and... You know, I like that look as well. Here you've got the Lion of Judah. And I'm going to also add some um, paper to that. Okay. More scripture and tags that you can uh, write on the back. Okay. And it just has the Bible, 144, Pray Without Ceasing. Okay. And all this stuff will be, you know, put together. Here's some more notes you can write notes. Here's the Ten Commandments in Hebrew that you can practice your Hebrew and you can write on the back. You know, I'm going to um, put the um, the notes on the back or even kind of do something like this. Oops. Hold on. Uh, do it like this. You know, put the notes on the back so you can write on the back of this practice your Hebrew. Uh, Amazing Grace. Here's the July. Okay, here's uh, for baptism. You know, uh, here's my picture when I was baptized. So I wanted to keep it in the Jordan River. So I wanted to keep that. And also my fringes, the borders are blue. I made that as a, a trim. And, um, you know, got some scriptures here. Um, Mark 16 to 16. And then you can pass some journaling paper underneath Okay, and then here's it's like a tuck spot. So here's another. Uh, this is the Moses baptism of the Red Sea, and you I will also put some um, stuff inside there. So it's not finished completely, but it it's take you know it took me like a while to get the right stuff that I wanted. So here we, it will be, um, you know, more tuck spots, more things to write notes. Um, Songs, um, Fear Not, Daughter of Zion. And this will actually be the center page with the Bible inside. Okay? So, I just wanted to give you an idea of what's inside. It's a lot of nice, you know, little tuck spots that you can write, you know, notes on and put information. And, you know, have little hidden spots. You can put the card. You can write on the back of this. I'm um, going back to Zion. You know, with more scripture. You know, I got to make sure I put a lot of scriptures and things like that. You have these tuck spots here that you can tuck, um, you know, stick things in here and up there and put papers. You know, like, say this. You could just tuck that in there and have something here. And, uh, you know, more tuck spots. It's just a lot of scripture and things to remind you. His August. And it just goes on and on, uh, just different, um, be ye holy, holy, and you can post, put your pictures back here, and, you know, scriptures, you can write notes, and things like that. So, you know, I just thought this was awesome idea to do it for us Hebrew Israelites who are taking journeys, um, you know, I've got going back to Zion. Uh, Yeshaya is king. These are postcards that you can write on the back of. Um, I got Zion in here. 
So I'm going to stick that in there. These I haven't stuck in there yet, but I will either glue it or sew it in. So this, you know, it's awesome, guys. It's, you know, for September, the, the seventh month, you know, we got a lot of holy days, a lot of feast days. So it's a, a lot of journaling you can do. Here is for the tabernacle. Okay, and you can journal on the back of this. I will put the uh, tie-dye paper on the back. But this is the cloth, the Moses cloth that um, here, that's here in the Middle East. And it's a lot of pages that you can journal on. You know, more scriptures, more fasting pages, you know. Maybe, you know, I try to do something like every month. Um, put fasting, you know, something for you to fast or, you know, writing scriptures um, pertaining to, you know, fasting and things like that. So, hold on a second. Let me just put it in order. Hold on. So, at the very end, you know, I got Psalms 91, another tag, and you can write on the back, and, you know, got the pockets that you can put all kind of stuff in there. And so, just like with these tags that I made, you know, so, some of these are like, um, how you say, um, paper clip tags. So, you can just slide these on. You know, uh, I don't know how to do it. Hold on. Anyway, you can slide these on. They open up, and you can slide it on the inside of this, let's say. So it'll sit right here. And, the, you know, you can just put these tags anywhere you want to inside. You know, a tuck somewhere or on a page with the paper clip that's in the inside. So it's a lot of fun. It's really cute, guys. And I'm excited because I just love stuff like this. But also, I also made these. And these are going to be um, hanging at the end of the journal. And I'll show you when. But I thought these were really cute, too. Um, the Moses um, tablets. Hold on a second. I'll show you. Okay, so... Yeah, so this thing is quite big, guys. I didn't even think it was going to be that big, but I really wanted to put a lot of stuff in it. So it's really, really big, you know. This is a spine. And I have nothing on the back as of yet. And I probably won't put anything on the back. I may put a few cloth roses here up front and, you know. But I wanted to show you the tablets that I'm, I'm going to add. I would like to add these on the ends of this. And so that these will either probably be sewn in and just have some, um, the, um, Moses tabs on the ends of the, the lace on the front. So I just wanted to show you guys, I thought this was awesome. And I, this is my personal one, but I will, you know, I have a lot and I will be um, adding it onto my Etsy shop. So that you guys can purchase along with your prayer rugs. I think this will be an awesome gift. I would love it if I had gotten it as a gift. So I can journal and put all the things that I've, you know, experienced, you know, as I'm um, waking up to the truth and, you know, going to the feast days, the holy days, taking pictures, you know, blogging about it, leaving America, you know, different places that I've went and, you know, all the feast days and everything. So it's been an awesome ex experience. And so I just wanted to put it into a journal. And I might have to like bring this down a little because it's huge. And you see this has, um, it has, uh, handles also, you know, so it's like a pocketbook kind of slash book. But it's awesome, guys. And I'm just excited about it. I'm, I'm so happy I finished it. And so I'm going to put it in my um, Etsy shop. And if you want to order one, you know, you're welcome. But these prayer rugs are awesome and uh, nice. I may add a pillow with it, you know, just for your knees or whatever. But it's, it's kind of, it's, you know, kind of cushion anyway. But it's not a lot of cushion. It's just enough because it's heavy enough, guys. Hold on a second. Okay, so um, I just wanted to say, yeah, I made these uh, Moses, you know, tablets. Just I want to add these on the end of the end of the lace here, 
and you know just they'll be dangling off I don't know how I'm going to put them on there yet but praise the high about Hashem Yishaya so this is it and I give all glory and praise to a high about Hashem Yishaya I hope you you know guys are excited about this as I am something that you can you know keep your information uh, inside I may put a small I make a travel, a small travel one, so that when you're out and about and you, there's something that you want to record or write about or this and that, or if you go on a trip and you don't want to carry this big old book, there's, you know, small um, little booklets inside that you could just take that with you just so you can write and stuff like that. But I think it's great for our journey. And um, as you're making your way out of Babylon or, you know, however you're doing it, you do want to record and keep your memorabilia with you so that when the internet goes and, you know, you can keep your pictures and, you know, write your scriptures down and things that you, you know, when you're fasting and all that kind of stuff. So, okay, I, it's been long enough. <laughs> Praise the Hayyabah Hashem uh, You can go to my website, Hebrewism.com, or you can go to Etsy. You know, I have a, my Etsy store, you know, and things like that. And I put everything in the description box. And I pray that you all are doing well and, you know, preparing for what's coming. I give all glory and praise to Ahaya Ashur Ahaya. Bahashim Yeshaya. Wa Kodash Wawak. Shalom. My skin is black. My body is burned. I survived Babylon, I am a daughter of Zion, daughters of Zion like diamonds and pearls, far above rubies and precious jewels, crown on my head cause we're brought with a prize, we are the daughters of Zion. Don't you know I'm up with the prize? Don't you know I'm up with the prize? You can stop calling me princess. Not because I'm wearing a crown. Not because of what you see. It's the royalty in me. So it's time to get serious. We've built up every nation in this world. I know preparing for the wilderness isn't easy. You say you're tired of other nations ruling over you? Well, get up and do something for yourself. Prepare for what's about to happen to you. Hebrewism.com It's time to build our nation. So what are you waiting for? Hebrewism. It's our way of life.